Hey, how we doing? It's your girl, Sissy Moore, a.k.a. Mickey Boo. We are in Enough is Enough. And I wanted to talk about excuses versus things being out of your control. So, I had an incident when I was at work. And um, it, there was a contest being ran. And in that contest, I found myself doing everything that I was supposed to do to be able to exceed in the contest. But I came across a couple glitches or a couple things that is holding me back from being great. Um, I'm not going to go into details of what it was, but it was little miscellaneous things that was out of my control that I could not do, but wait until I can physically do what I needed to do. So when I went to go retrieve my um, tickets or whatever it is I was going in, I mentioned to them um, what I was dealing with in the situation at hand for what held me back from climbing higher to what I expected to come for myself. And the first thing I hear a manager say is, um, oh, you coming with excuses. Hold on. So it didn't dawn on me until I was walking back. And I'm like, wait, this person just basically told me that I'm making excuses to my situation of why I couldn't exceed what my expectation was for them, which was their expectations. I want to let someone know who's feeling like me right now that when you do what you can do, I still got some tickets. When you do what you can do, that's the best you can do. Don't let other people tell you that it was an ex you're making excuses to why something can't get done or anything of that nature. To me, that was disrespectful because it was like, hold on, I'm not a robot. It's your robots that's having an issue. And I'm calling them out to you. I've even, even written them down and specifically told you what was a hindrance to my excellence. So sometimes you're not making excuses. You are doing the best that you can and you did what you could do to the knowledge of your capacity or what you felt it is that you needed to do. Because if you have the knowledge and you know what it is you're supposed to be doing and you're capitalizing on that and something comes in to hinder you, don't let people's choice of words deter you or throw you off is what I'm saying. Um, I like to process things as they happen so that I can do better and I can be better. Um, and just, you know, evaluate things. I said this before in my videos. So I just wanted to bring to light and not put too much on it. But if, again, you feel that you did what you can do, I applaud you for doing that. Anything else outside of that, refrain from people's lack of knowledge of word usage. Like when people say, oh, you're being complacent or you're um, procrastinating. I know me. And as I've been on this journey and like I do music and vlogs, sometimes I'm not feeling it or sometimes I feel like I don't have what I need. But as time go on and I don't give up on the thought that I want to do it, when I do come up with that new creative strategy or when I do come up with that thing that I can utilize for me to be able to get it done, then I get on top of it. But again, don't let people's choices of words or your own choice of words deteriorate you from doing what it is that you need to do. I really believe that I'm doing everything I can every step of the way. When I find out new information that I can apply that can help me, I get on top of that and I do it. But I'm not going to beat myself up if I miss a day or if I or something happens like I'm trying, I'm doing and it will get done. It's better late than never. So let's just choose our words wisely so that we can feel better about what it is that we're doing and we can be more patient with ourselves and more kind to ourselves and the things that we're trying to do because there's distractions all around us and we, <laughs> believe me, <laughs> that's hard enough. So keep doing what you're doing. Continue to be great. Continue to take one step at a time. It's no rush. It's plenty for everybody. Do what you can and just make it beautiful like you expect it to be. Have a good one.